Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here with another video. Today I'm going to be explaining how I go about backing up my phone. Um, so as you may have noticed, I've been posting a lot of videos on different ROMs, um, things like that, usually maybe once a week, twice a week. So basically when you're switching ROMs, you're having to worry about a lot of your data and how you use your phone on a daily basis things like that. So there's a few things that I do um, and I'll be showing you how I go about that process in case if you're curious, if you want to try a different ROM, if you're worried about your information, your apps, your data, things like that. Um, this guide will help you on how to make sure all of your information stays intact and your phone can kind of pretty much go with you as you switch between ROMs. This is mostly geared to those who are rooted. Um, so first you're going to need to back up, if you want to, your call logs and your text messages. So unless if you're using like WhatsApp or those that use a service that automatically back them up to their servers, and this is strictly for SMS messages. So I am using a, an app called SMS Backup and Restore in the App Store. So it'll look just like that. I've been using this for years. Um, actually, before I started doing videos, um, back when I had an LG G2, maybe even earlier than that. So this backs up your emojis that you use in text messages. It backs up the pictures, um, the multimedia messages that you send. Um, they do have tons of different options to back up if you want to back up to a SD card, like a micro SD card internal storage, um, you can then upload your backups to um, like Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, things like that. You can then also then restore your text messages. And as you can see, I have about almost 36,000 text messages backed up. I know that's excessive. I've been doing this for years, so tons and tons of text messages. Um, and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So you can transfer files from one phone to another. So this is my Zoop Z2. I could transfer it over to my Nextbit Robin if I wanted to. But the Google Drive is just a lot faster. You can um, view the backups and delete conversations, things like that. So you just want to go through select. I would recommend going through some of the settings, making sure you have it backed up like you want to select different options. Um, so go ahead and just back up. That's going to take a couple minutes. So then now your texts, call logs are all backed up. So that's all good to go. Um, and you can see here, here's the backups there calls and text messages. Next you're going to want to go and download Titanium Backup which if you're not familiar with is the mo one main reason why you would root your phone. Um, basically what it is it backs up not only the apps it also backs up system apps it can also back up the state in which the app is in and the app data. So if let's say you're you play a game for a couple weeks and you make a lot of progress um, and that game doesn't support um, Google Play like save option, um, Google Play integration, things like that, then you could, if you're rooted, you could back up the whole game itself with Titanium Backup and let's say you get a new phone or you switch ROMs, you could restore that game, the game data and the state in which the game was at. So if let's say you just stop, stopped just before Big Boss, you back up your phone, or you back up the app with Titanium Backup, go to Open, you go up here to this top where the little check mark is, back up new user apps and newer versions, and basically select that game and then back it up. And then what you can do, unless if you don't wipe your delete the internal storage, you can restore that app and it'll return exactly to the way it was where you left off and backed it up. So you can see here I have a couple new apps. Um, so I just select, deselect the ones that I want to back up. 
Um, so let's say this uh, pixel theme, and that's about it. That's the only one I'm worried about. And it backs up. Takes a second. All right. And then what I usually do is, in case of, let's say, the example of a game, um, with Titanium Backup, you can do these backups on a schedule. So let's say in the middle of the night, it'll automatically do all this backup for you if you want. Um, but since I'm usually doing this during the day, I'm wiping or switching a ROM in the middle of the day, I sometimes forget if the schedule ran or not. So I do this all the time before I switch ROMs. Um, I do redo backup for modified data. Let's say you backed up a game that you were playing and you played some more. If you don't do the backup for modified data, it's not going to update this backup for that additional um, time you played. It's going to just do that one backup before you played again. So I go ahead and um, just run a backup for every app just in case if there's any new things I've changed as far as settings go then I just select all and check and it goes through all the apps and make sure that it's all back up again that way it's most up-to-date current backup for every app and so we're gonna let that run for a couple minutes I'll be right back okay guys so that modified backup has been done um, you can see complete, complete. We can just swipe those away, no worries. So now your apps, app data, and the state of your apps are backed up along with your texts and call logs. Um, now finally, what you're gonna wanna do for safe measure is boot into your custom recovery, TWRP, and back up your ROM. So that's important in case of, let's say, the ROM you flash um, it boot loops, um, let's say you flash a kernel and um, it is not compatible, then you can always restore back to the state that your ROM is in. So this is basically kind of like a, um, a system recovery image for your computer. Um, this will basically allow you to just restore that whole state of your phone back to the way it was. It doesn't back up internal storage, so just mind that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go over to Backup. And here you have the option to back up um, some different information. What you're mostly concerned about is data, system, and boot. You don't need to worry about cache um, as cache builds itself. Um, during boot and when you use the phone anyways. That's not really important. Just these three main data, system, and boot. You can choose to name your backup if you want to in case of let's say you backup a lot of different ROMs and you want to um, keep track of which ROM is what. Um, so this is actually a discovery ROM. Stay tuned for my review on discovery ROM here probably in the next day or two. Um, subscribe, that way you're notified when this um, lands. Um, so discovery ROM, swipe to backup, and basically it's going to take a couple minutes, I would say maybe five to ten, I would say. Um, let that run, and once it's done, then you can reboot your phone. So we'll just let this finish, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, I'm back here and you can see that the ROM has finished backing up. Um, so it goes through and tells you everything that was backed up, um, the size and the MD5 file that was created, and the speed in which it was backed up at, and the total size, so about 7, seven gigs or so. Um, so yeah, TWRP backups can take up a lot of space, but again, this is backing up your entire phone. Um, if you don't back up your text messages or titanium backup, at least do a TWRP backup. I cannot stress the importance of doing a TWRP backup, especially if you're flashing between ROMs. If you are flashing anything that modifies the system, um, the kernel, anything like that, you never know. Um, so many times you can brick a phone, boot loop, um, maybe you, whatever you flash causes then instability in your phone, you can always revert back to before. Um, so then once you do that, then you can just reboot your phone, or if you want to flash a different ROM, you want to just go ahead and wipe. 
but I wanted to give you guys how I back up my phone when I switch between ROMs. Hopefully this is helpful, and I really do hope that you guys subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.